गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल रिव्यू वाइपर फॉर अराइज और द अराइज साउंड सिस्टम इन जनरल If you watch my previous video on Viper for FX for Android, you would know that Viper FX is an equalizer app for Android, and it is extremely powerful. And what it does is that it makes changes to the sound drivers on your system, and it optimizes or changes the sound signal that the phone produces. So you have the various options inside the application, and uh, you can install this app, and it also has a lot of add-ons. So the developers on Android combined the Viper FX for Android with Dolby Atmos sound with a lot of system optimizations and the driver optimizations and a lot more add-ons so now what you have is more than overkill so i will first review the viper for arise application and i will not review all the add-ons but i will just show you the Dolby Atmos sound you can try all the add-ons yourself if you want another video on all the add-ons click on the like button and if this video hits 120 likes i will surely make a video on it so now you see the interface for viper for ri sound system on the top you have the master power button and uh, what this will do is enable all the mods that you make changes to so you have uh, different sections for headset phone speaker bluetooth and usb dock you will have to make changes for every single one of them and uh, for the phone speaker you have less options but for the bluetooth and the headset you have a lot of options so if you enable the playback gain control and uh, push it to moderate or extreme it will quite significantly increase the volume of your headset and you will have to tap on the off button to turn it on the differential sound is also quite useful because some sounds are differentiated and they will come late and echo a bit so it it will sound a bit different it's also quite unique and uh, you won't find this in any other equalizer app and now one of my favorite ones the dynamic system this will increase the dynamic bass on your device you can also choose the various presets for your headphones i will put it to high end headphone and using this dial you can increase the amount of dynamic bass so now you also have the viper bass and you have the natural bass the pure bass and uh, subwoofer so if you are like a bass head you definitely want it to be set on pure bass plus and you can set the frequency to around 60 i prefer 60 you can also use 40 or 100 and then using this dial you have to select the amount of bass you want if you set it to 17 i'm not kidding your ears might start shaking and now you also have the option for viper clarity this actually makes changes to the treble on your earphones you can increase it to how much ever you want and you have various presets like those on one and the x hi fi mode you can also add reverberation to your earphones or headphones as you want you will have to try all these options yourself and get a gist of what you like in your audio you can also use the presets it has these are the presets by the ri sound system team and they work quite well so i'll make changes to some of the options and will let you hear them so let's start with audio sample it will show you an icon of dolby you can use it with viper fx also you can have both of them turned on to enable dolby atmos all you have to do is press the power on icon at the top left and now dolby atmos is live all these are modes like the movie mode music mode or game mode or voice mode you have these various modes and uh, you can make changes to it by double tapping them or like tapping once and then tapping again there is not much to it you just have the various options and uh, you can change these options and get some different changes in the audio you can use it with viper fx if you want but i generally use one of them at once it's a very small learning curve and it doesn't need much explanation so before moving on to the installation i would request you guys to click on the subscribe button and also on the bell icon because i keep making videos like this every other day you will require three things one is twrp recovery and root access the second thing is ac linux mode changer and the third thing is the ri sound system aroma zip file 
I will leave all the links in the description box below. So first of all, you will have to install the SE Linux Mode Changer application. So this is just the application. You'll have to install it and you will have to change the SE Linux Mode to permissive. It will ask you for root access. You will have to enable that. And after that, you will have to power off your phone. And now you'll have to open it in recovery mode. So to open my phone in recovery mode, I will have to open it in bootloader mode first. I will do that by pressing the volume down button and the power button at the same time for around two seconds. So now my phone is opened in bootloader mode. I will have to open the recovery menu. I will do that by browsing through all of the options by using the volume keys and selecting the recovery mode and then clicking on the power button to select recovery mode. So when you are in the recovery mode, you'll have to click on the install button and then select the Arise sound system zip file. This is an Aroma zip file and would be around 140 megabytes or something. So you'll have to click on swipe to flash. It will open the Aroma installer and you can use it to install everything on your phone. So it will show you the change log. Version 2.4 just released yesterday and previously it was a little tough to install this on your phone. But with the Aroma zip file, it's quite easy and that's why I would recommend you guys to try this out. So uh, click on next. So I forgot to tell you one thing, please make a backup of your ROM before flashing this on your phone because right now there's no way to uninstall this file. You can only disable it. That's because a lot of system files are overwritten with the zip file and to uninstall it, all you have to do is restore system. So in case if anything goes wrong or you just want to uninstall this from your phone, you can restore system and everything would be fine. So first we'll install the Arise sound system. So we'll click on next and then select the audio enhancement system and then click on next and install now. So now you see it's finally installed. You will have to click on next and the reboot icon should be unticked and then you have to click finish. We will also install the add-on. Uh, we'll also install the Dobby Atmos add-on. So we'll do that right now. Click on the back button and install the zip again. It will show you the same thing again. So I'm just clicking on the next icon if you can't see the bottom. This time you'll have to select the add-ons or options and then click on the next button. Then it will ask you for all the add-ons one by one and you'll have to click next and then you'll have to select yes or no to install that add-on or not. I will only install the Dolby Atmos add-on because I want to make this video short. So I will just install the first one and, and will select no for all the others. And in the end, when it asks you to change your SE Linux to permissive mode, click on the yes button and then click on next. And then you'll have to click on install now to install the add-on. So after you click on finish, all you have to do is reboot your phone and you'll have the Arise sound system installed on your phone. After you flash the zip file, you'll have to check if the driver is correctly installed or not. You can click on the driver status. If the neon enabled is yes, then the driver is correctly installed. So if you like this video guys, click on the subscribe button because it will motivate me to make more videos like this. And also let's reach 120 likes on this video.